Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to talk really quickly about how you can give a diagnostic test to your student or to your child. So diagnostic tests are basically for the parent or for the volunteer to figure out where in the program your child should start. This is to make them the most comfortable so they're not doing something that's way too hard or way too easy for them. So there's two different parts to our diagnostic test. There's an oral diagnostic test and there's a written diagnostic test. So let's first talk about our oral diagnostic test. So there's these type of sheets on our website. If you go to add sub diagnostic and click on the first packet. So this sheet tells you what you're supposed to do to diagnose your child. So the first thing you're going to do is start over here and ask them these questions out loud or orally. So you're going to keep going down this list. So you're going to start with you know, 2 plus 3 and 3 plus 1 and 4 plus 5 and 3 plus 3 and 8 plus 1. You're just going to keep going. And you keep going as long as the child can answer confidently. As soon as they start having trouble, you can stop them. So let's say your child has a problem with, with the problem 9 minus 4. So then you're going to go over here. So these diagnostic booklets are the written part of, your di of the diagnostic. And these are basically for us to figure out which module for them to start on. So this diagnostic packet um, is split into three different modules as written here. Sub 0 through 5 to 0 through 5, sub 6 through 9 to 0 through 5, and sub 6 through 9 to 6 through 9. So in other words, it's basically one digit subtraction, and it's very basic. Um, another thing you can see in the sheet is that these problems correspond to this module. So really, just from the oral diagnostic, you can kind of figure out which module you want them to start on. But we give them a written diagnostic because sometimes it's easier, easier for them to see the problems written down and to do them. And also, we want to give them some problems that are a little bit easier, a little bit harder, to see exactly how far they can go. Especially because these four oral problems don't cover the whole range of problems that are covered in these modules. We really want to make sure that they know their stuff. So, um, once you figure out that your child has some problems, let's say, with, this type, with these type of problems, you go here and you find this diagnostic booklet, which is Add Sub Diagnostic Sub 1D, and then you can go to our website, and um, these are all the modules on our website, and you can go down until you find Add Sub Diagnostic. And then you can pick the right one, which is in this case sub 1D. And you can print that out. Then you let your child do that packet. And then at the very end, you can figure out which module you want them to start on. So this is more about the written diagnostics. So this is kind of like what one page in a diagnostic could look like. But basically, each page, um, like I said earlier, corresponds to a module. So if you go back, um, the first page in, the, in this packet would be about sub 0 through 5 to 0 through 5. So it would be problems like this, 3 minus 1, 5 minus 3, 4 minus 2, and 5 minus 2. Second page would be um, a little bit bigger number, so it would be sub 6 through 9 to 0 through 5. So it would be like 9 minus 4, 7 minus 2, things like that. And the last page would be sub 6 through 9 to 6 through 9, which would be like 6 minus 5, or 8 minus 6, or 9 minus 7, and things like that. So this, is, this page is from the sub 1D booklet, and it's the first page. This is sub, sub 0 through 5 to 0 through 5, and you can see this on the bottom. So it says the diagnostic packet name, and then it says which module. So um, as, the pa as the child is doing these packets, we ask that you watch over your child. So if they're struggling, please ask them to stop. And this is really important because we don't want them to feel inadequate. And um, these problems get harder as the pages go on. So it's really not necessary that they have to be able to complete the entire packet. Really just trying to see how far they can go. So let's say your child stops at this page, you know, whether let's say they're having trouble with some of these problems. So you can go down and look at the bottom of the of the packet, and here you'll see add sub diagnostic sub 1D sub 0 through 5 to 0 through 5. So like I said earlier, this is telling you the packet name, so the diagnostic packet name, and then a module name. So this module name is where we're gonna want your child to start. So once we figure that out, then you can go ahead and print out the first packet in that module and have your child complete that and basically go from there. So that's about all there is for diagnostics. Um, hopefully this clears that up and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.